first of all thanks for being here in my youtube channel so here in this mistake series video we will be seeing some of the mistakes that usually every student used to do at the beginning of learning aptitude for the competitive exams or even i have seen some students are making these kinds of mistakes in the competitive exam itself so these kinds of mistakes usually happen only because of the time pressure in their exams because student have to solve the question within 20 seconds or within 30 seconds so because of the time pressure i have seen many students or usually they used to do these kinds of silly mistakes on their exams that is especially on the mathematics so in order to avoid those kinds of mistake so this mistake series video will definitely help you to avoid such a mistakes in the upcoming competitive exams so don't forget to watch all the complete mistake series video so that it will be very very helpful if you are preparing for the competitive exams so and one more important thing so many students those who are asking all my videos all my feel free to learn videos in offline either it can be a pen drive mode or it can be sd card mode where you can get the pen drive and you can able to watch all my videos what i posted on my channel feel free to learn in offline so get the pen drive or get the sd card start learning for the upcoming competitive exams if you want any details how to purchase it whatsapp us so our team will contact you soon so thank you so much and now let me move on to the mistake series videos okay so friends here is the second video on mistake series that is on the topic simplification where the question contains two division that is simultaneously two division or it can be three division on the question just see the question 24 division 4 division 2 is equal to question mark so it's one of the most common question in many competitive exams if you are going for any campus interview railway exam bank exam whatever be just look at the previous year question paper you may definitely see a simple simplification question like this which contains two divisions simultaneously so in order to solve this question so friends listen here there are two methods in both the methods you will get the same answer but i have seen many students making a wrong method that is solving this question in a wrong way and making a mistake just see here 24 division 4 division 2 i have seen most of the students in the exams what they used to do is first they divide these two numbers 4 division 2 so 4 division 2 is what 2 so what is the remaining number that we have 24 division 2 and then they will divide both the numbers and they say the answer is 12 is this correct way to solve the question no it's exactly wrong you should not solve like this i've seen most of the students do this they just divide the last two number first and then first two number and then they finally say that will be the answer for the question no this is wrong actually you should not proceed to solve a question like this the two methods i will teach you both the methods now so the first method to solve this question is method one let me do like this so 24 division 4 division 2 right equal to question mark do one thing convert the division into multiplication that is the easy way to solve if you convert the division into multiplication reciprocal of the number just see here 24 right in order to convert this division into multiplication reciprocal of the number that is 1 by 4 similarly here you have division convert into multiplication 1 by 2 is equal to question mark understood or not right if you convert the division into multiplication we have to reciprocal the number nearby number so here after division we have number 4 so reciprocal it 1 by 4 after another division nearby number is 2 reciprocal it 1 by 2 so 1 by 4 into 1 by 2 now all are comes to multiplication right so 4 into 2 will be 8 so 24 into 1 by 8 so when you cancel it so this becomes 3 8 3 is 24 this is the right way to solve the question so answer for this question is 3 this is one method the second method i will teach you is here in this first method right this this method right what is the mistake that i have done here is students try to solve from the right to left yes or no right first they divide 4 is to 2 which is on the right hand side and then they proceed towards left hand side that is a wrong way proceed from left to right that will be the easy way to get the answer just see here i will solve the same question right just listen carefully from right to left right so same question right so just see here you should not go with right to left you should now divide from left to right right so left to right so 24 division 4 so first divide this number so 24 division 4 will be 6 and then the remaining number 6 division 2 is equal to question mark so question mark is equal to 3 
Understood or not? This is method 2. So when there are two methods to solve this question that is based on two consecutive division or three consecutive division. I always recommend you to solve by using this method number one because method number one seems to be very easy. Right? You don't want to get confused whether right to left or left to right. The, the thing what you need to do here is just convert the division into multiplication by reciprocal the nearby number. Got it? So method one will be the easy way but, but try to understand the method number two also. Right? What is the method number two here? From left to right you have to solve the question not from right to left. If you try to solve the question from right to left then it will be wrong. So try to solve the question from left to right. So in this, I have seen most of the students are making a mistake on this area, right? I hope everyone, while you too, while learning at the beginning of quantitative aptitude, I hope you too make these kinds of mistakes. So kindly don't do that again, right? I hope everyone have rectified it now. So take a note and start preparing for the upcoming exam. So all the best and thank you so much for watching this video. Bye. So friends and one more important thing in my feel free to learn platform we are providing one course that is how to make a videos education videos on a YouTube platform. So we will teach you all the techniques because I have seen many students who are keep on asking me I want to share the knowledge to the other students how I can make a videos proper education videos on a YouTube platform. So this is a green screen video you can able to see the background is completely green screen I am using a software a tab and a pen. So I will teach you all the steps right how to make a proper education videos and how to start your YouTube channel where you should invest money and where should not invest your money and wasting your money is not needed. So if you if you have a passion of teaching or if you like you want to share your knowledge to the other students by teaching and YouTube or various platform we will definitely help you how to make a proper education videos. It will be a complete paid course I will told you already I have told you why it is paid everything. So in case if you have any details WhatsApp us we will we will help you to join in the private class and we will make you and we will help you to make an education videos on your own. So thank you so much friends for watching this video. Bye.